Hello, this is Dr. Rick Ferguson. Today we'll be demonstrating the so-called digital pour technique of taking a VPS impression, placing it into a CVCT scanner, scanning that VPS impression, and creating a DICOM set for, data set from that impression. Um, we'll be then reversing that impression um, and bringing it into um, the uh, guide fabrication software, Blue Sky Plan, and, and then we can use that clean data set to create a surgical guide. So the first step in doing this is to open up the patient's uh, jaw scan in Blue Sky Plan. We'll then, which we've already done here, we'll then go ahead and import the VPS uh, CVCT scan as a scan appliance. This is what it looks like here. We'll go ahead and hit OK. And we want to remove um, any areas that we're not interested in. You can see here's the impression scan. We'll go ahead and take out any areas that we're not really that interested in. Just reduce our region of interest. We'll hit OK. And what Blue Sky Plan was going to want to do is actually um, align this impression to the patient's teeth from their jaw scan. That's not what we're trying to do here with this. We're just simply bringing in this DICOM data set into Blue Sky Plan. We're just going to go ahead and OK. And it's just going to arbitrarily place that impression somewhere in space. You can see it's like actually kind of overlapping the uh, jaw scan here. But it doesn't matter. We're now going to export this impression or scan appliance model out of Blue Sky. We're going to uncheck the original, that's the jaw scan, and go ahead and export that. And we're going to call this impression CVCT scan from Blue Sky Plan. So we'll just give it a name, Impression CVCT Scan, and we're going to save this as an STL file. Once that's done, we can now open this STL file, Mesh Mixer, and we're now going to demonstrate how to reverse this image. As you can see, what you have here is the entire impression. Um, we're going to, what we want to do is invert it so that this negative area becomes a positive. And we do that by understanding that this is a shell file. It's empty inside. And what we're going to do is go ahead and click the select button. Make sure that the unwrap brush, unwrap brush is selected. Change the size of the brush to 55 and just sort of paint away the tray. So we're going to go ahead and select areas on the tray that we want to remove and try not to leave any holes. Try to select the entire tray area. You don't want to go over into the vestibule of the actual impression, but we can take away areas of the impression also that we don't need the impression material here. So we're going to just paint this away and again, try not to we can rotate the image to get a better view. Try not to go over the edge and into the vestibular area. Go ahead and just go ahead and paint this away. Oops, I made an error. So we can go to actions, undo back, and keep painting away here. And this shouldn't take very long at all. That's looking pretty good. And one thing I'll do is I'll rotate the image to make sure I haven't leaked over into the vestibule. Um, you can see here we've leaked a little bit, so what I'm going to do is actually start over. And clear selection, go back to select, and start painting again.
This time I'll be a little bit more careful so that I don't leak over into the teeth or into the vestibule. And we'll just paint away those areas here. You don't have to be exact because you can always go back and cut away areas later using the software. So that's looking pretty good. This time I didn't leak over. Just being a little bit more careful. Paint away the tray. And now uh, that looks pretty good. You can also paint this area right here. Alright, so now we've selected this tray area. We're going to hit the delete button. And what it's going to do is remove that shell of the tray and expose the underlying impression. Now this image isn't reversed as yet. You can see the pink striped area is actually, the software still thinks that's the inside of the impression or the, or the model. So what we'll need to do is reverse this, turn this around, double click to select the entire area which now this again the software thinks this is the outside of the of the, uh, the STL file. Go ahead and hit edit, flip normals and now that's reversed and we have a positive image. We can then export this and this time we're going to call it impression scan reversed or inverted if you like and we're going to save that we can now close mesh mixer we're going to save the mesh mixer file it's already saved as an STL and then we can now bring this back we're going to get rid of the scan appliance model that was the original one we brought in as a DICOM and we can now bring this impression scan reversed into the Blue Sky software. And what it's going to want to do, it's going to try to align by teeth. So we're going to hit cancel. Before we align this model, what we want to do is clear up some of this extra um, extra area here that we didn't cut out. And it's very easy to do by clicking surfaces, clicking on the impression scan reverse, click the isolate tool, and it will remove any areas that weren't attached to the actual uh, impression there. We can actually do the same thing now for the jaw scan by clicking on original, isolate, and get rid of these uh, areas of the opposing dentition that can interfere with our alignment. It takes a little bit longer but there we go. And now we can use the model manipulation tool to align. We're going to align these two um, data sets by points by clicking on the points button here and then align. It's going to create a solid surface model from the jaw scan and then we'll use that use the alignment tool by points to align these two data sets. So here is the jaw scan, here is the impression scan that we reversed in Mesh Mixer. You can see it's a clean image. Uh, we can get a nice guide fitted onto that. There's no scatter on this image here. So we can, what we're going to do now is align these two images by picking some points. We usually pick about seven points and we try to get them in different planes. So we'll start picking points. Here's a point of similar information. Pick another point right here in this groove. And go ahead and pick this point right here as well. And this looks like a good area right on the incisal edge at the corner here. That's four points so far. We'll pick this groove right here. And right here on the molar back there. That's the third molar. And then let's go ahead and rotate these images. And I'm going to pick one more point right on the central incisor that's kicked out here. Right at the gingival margin here, mid-facially. And then we're going to go ahead and hit OK and see how our alignment looks. 
it looks like it aligned pretty well. You can see and we can check that by rotating and scrolling through the slices. That looks like an excellent alignment of these two data sets. So now go to our surfaces, turn off our jaw scan, and plan our implant using this clean information, this clean data set that was generated from the CVCT scan of the uh, VPS impression. Thank you.